you got to have an awareness to know that DeFi, decentralized finance, does have a risk. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's C. Will, and this is the Passive Income Network. On this channel, we talk about creating assets that produce passive income, talking about the stock market, online business, and cryptocurrency. On this video, we'll be talking about Tiny Man. Okay, everyone heard it on Twitter and Reddit. Uh, big news, Tiny Man has been hacked. And particularly, their LP pools have been hacked. So I'm gonna go over there into this uh, Medium article where they made an official announcement yesterday. And then I'll also go over to the Tiny Man site and give you all a little update about LPs managing them and permanent loss and whatnot. Okay. All right, so here, here's the uh, Medium article. Official announcement about the incidents of 1-1-2022. Definitely started the year off with a bang with about $3 million worth of uh, tokens stolen from Tiny Man with this hack, okay? I did not get affected, luckily. You know, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. And I will hopefully that those who did get affected will get reimbursed and helped out by the uh, Tiny Man Algorand Foundation uh, community. Okay, so it says beginning 1st of January, 2022, an attack was orchestrated by an unauthorized user on the sum of the Tiny Man's pools by exploiting previously unknown vulnerabilities in the Tiny Man contracts. So the exploit resulted in a drain of certain ASAs in the first hours of the attack, which led to an increased volatility in the media aftermath. So essentially go BTC and go ETH got hacked, there was a, um, a hole, basically a bug in their system, not the Algorand blockchain, but a bug in the overlaying platform, which is Tiny Man. And they had a bug in their pools, which allowed uh, people to essentially trick the machine, trick the system and claim a lot more LP, which therefore they had a, a bigger share of the pool of which they didn't put in. And then uh, the attacks continued to happen Headline puts out an article, which actually some will say helped increase the attacks and drain the rest of the pools, but that's up for a, another discussion. Uh, basics of the incident. Although the Tiny Man team is still investigating the issue, uh, to leave no stone unturned, we have found the first evidence that might shed light on the incident. Without going into the technical de details of the attack, we would like to share the first findings. So they go over there and talk about the findings. You can uh, click even the Algo Explorer you can see uh, which wallet, which transactions they're talking about. Uh, you track everything through the blockchain. Um, so they go through uh, the first attack, the second attack, right? And it shows what pool ID it was. Uh, pool 17 transactions and removes a sizable amount of value. This value is estimated to be around $3 million. That's wild, right? Um, but again, we've seen worse hacks happen to Facebook Worst hacks happen, happen to Google, uh, Solana, and Polygon, Ethereum, and whatnot. So Algorand is safe. Tiny Man is compromised at the moment. Uh, so what's going on now with Tiny Man? Since the contract's permissionless, not even the Tiny Man team has the power to obstruct any kind of transactions on the blockchain. Blockchain. So as a first step, a formal announcement was made. So they made the announcement. Uh, they've been all around Twitter telling everybody to pull their LPs out. I'm in multiple Discord groups. Everyone's pulling their LP tokens, right? Pulling their LP tokens, which I'll, I'll explain a little bit more. So that way uh, people can save their money. There was around $43 million uh, in Tiny Man, total value locked. So $3 million got stolen. That's not, that's not bad. Um, so essentially, what this means is we shouldn't use Tiny Man right now. Go look up this article. The whole Algorand community is helpful and helping out. Um, so we'll go to Tiny Man. It says, warning, as many of you are aware of an attack occurred, Tiny Man pulls on January 1st and 2nd. The attack exploits a previously unknown bug. Just talked to you about that. So in the meantime, we believe the best plan of action is to ask the community to remove all their liquidity from all Tiny Man pools. We will make sure that the community is taken care of and we'll publish a detailed incident report in the uh, coming days. And then up here, we got urgent warning from Tiny Man, please remove your liquidity, makes a message pop up. Um, so 
to be clear, for the most part, you can still swap, but I would very much so be careful with the price fluctuations as they said in Tiny Man, right? Be careful, always make sure these numbers match up when you guys are doing uh, swaps out there. Very, very important. So with that being said, when we're talking about LPs, essentially how to manage an LP once we get uh, back in action with Tiny Man, essentially what you're doing is taking 50% of one uh, token and 50% of another. Usually it'll be algo mixed with, let's say, a yield leak. You take those tokens, you upload them, right? And then they shoot you back an LP, which is your pool share, which shows your share of your contribution. So when you go to withdraw, you can take back out what you put in. Um, so that way, plus the fees that you collected. So the best practices of that, again, um, this is a perfect learning lesson is be careful when you are moving your algos to other sites like Tiny Man, like Yuli. You gotta have an awareness to know that DeFi, decentralized finance does have a risk. So that's something to think about. Uh, we've just seen the risk. Uh, so want to be careful and permanent loss. This is like the highest level of permanent loss. It's not real permanent loss. This is a hack. Uh, but in permanent loss implies say that, like we said, we got the algo, we got the yearly. If one of them shoots through the moon and the other crashes, you essentially will have a hard time pulling your liquidity out, liquidity out because the pools are imbalanced impermanently, right? Meaning as in temporary. So that's something to think about once Tiny Man opens back. Um, uh, Tiny Man has been audited. And again, this shows you that even an audit doesn't fully guard us from what possibly can happen. So again, repeat, be wary of Tiny Man at this current moment. Um, they have closed their ability to add more liquidity in. So swapping might be uh, not a great time right now. I did swap last night for some Opolis. I had to buy that dip. So I'm not really tripping about that. Uh, do your own diligence. Um, yeah, and we wish the Algorand community the best. But again, see will like to be transparent. Uh, be careful, y'all. See will the Passive Income Network. I am.